And this is um, assembling the computer. And technically, I could do that today. Um, I want to show you a couple of parts. This is the rig. This is the case. Um, I saved most all the boxes. And again, I don't know if I'm in the frame or not. It's a constant problem. And I even saved the. Um, all the little order slips. I've got these, unlike this shirt that I'm wearing that I got in London, I got, I saved all these order slips for the past 11 months. I ordered about one part per month, meaning uh, I ordered the, the case, next month I had to save up, and I got the hard drive or whatever, the hard drive I got recently. Uh, relatively, um, I got the case and the PSU, which I already did install. Um, the PSU is that green thing there, and Going around here. These are the all the. It took me forever to just purchase and save up for this rig. I'm so. Oh, I'm so excited! This is awesome. Okay, most of these are empty boxes. I'll show the parts individually. The case looks the biggest. I mean, the case looks like the big main thing, but really the case was one of the less expensive things. And um, this is kind of kind of more difficult to show. Than I realized. Well, I had the idea of I was is filming me building it, and then speeding up that recording. Anyways, these are all the, um, the package lists. Uh, just I, Over the next past 10 months, I researched and waited for deals and saved up, and this is one of the biggest investments I've ever made in my life. But it's one of the most important things, one of the things I'll use. Anyways, so I got, um, I'm gonna move this case. I made sure everything's like static free and cleaned, and the lighting down here is, I don't know, it's, it's adequate, it sort of suffices. These are twisty ties to connect the motherboard. Um, this is the GPU. This is the GPU I got, a GT440 uh, gigabyte NVIDIA. I was, I, I've been like envisioning doing this, um, finally all the parts in one spot vid for so long, I maybe I should wear a tie or my three-piece suit or or something, but I just wanted to, to do this. Anyways, this is the GPU. I've been, like, at evenings or something, just peacefully going down here and just ogling at this and looking at it. It's, it's pretty awesome. Um, just the, with the electrical components of it. And it, I got one that has all three uh, di dis out output displays, VGA, DVI, and HDMI. And brilliantly, and I do say that, so this, I do say so myself, I got a monitor that has those three types of input displays, yeah. And I, I only need one to connect one monitor, but still, it's just good for, for that. And this! I got uh, AMD 3.3 or 3.6. 3.3 gigahertz, 15 megabyte cache. Um, I got the new um, FX chip. And I've never, I've never held a, a computer CPU in my hands before, ever. And this is it. This is the CPU of the entire computer. This is so awesome. Oh, it is awesome! Um, I've just been kind of all up this. This is the CPU cooler. And you can see here on the bottom, bottom of it is the thermal paste that you apply to the top of the CPU. You can see a slight little smidge in there where I accidentally touched the paste with my finger. But I think it will still adequately um, conduct heat away from the CPU, which is its purpose. See, I like talking about this stuff. If I go over here, I still be in the frame. Yeah, I think I'll be more in the frame. Marvelous. Okay. So this is the CPU, <clears throat> which I love, which is awesome. AMD FX. I recorded this, the um, serial number as well. Actually, I think I'm more in the frame if I'm over here. Okay. There we go. Thanks for the patience of still watching, if you are. Oh, will I adjust the camera there? Again, I, I thought about getting all dressed up, it's tie and stuff, and I may do or re-record this. Maybe not, though. I'll probably just build it and then talk about it, maybe. Maybe I'll point things out after it's built. But this is still a crucial vid. This is going up on my Linux Geekoid site, site I love. 
I have a whole sub-menu item called Build My PC, which will detail a couple of unboxings and the specs to, specs to my rig and, and whatnot. So, this is the um, CPU um, cooler that came with the CPU, and I was concerned about getting one that was efficient enough that conducted heat effect effectively. And um, the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus, I think, is one of the most popular ones. I was considering investing in that, but <clears throat> I decided to use the one, which is probably slightly inferior, but still suffices, that came with the CPU, because AMD has warranties on their chips, and if the CPUs that they ship suddenly start failing because of improper heat, because of the fan that shipped with them, they'd have serious problems. In other words, AMD wants their fan to work efficiently, so I'm using that fan. And um, the GPU obviously has a built-in fan too. I, I, I love this GPU, it had great reviews. I'm so excited to try out some great games on it. But more importantly, um, I'm much more excited to finally be able to have a huge hard drive, the largest internal hard drive I've ever had in my entire life, to store all video clips, and most importantly, to make to video edit. I'm really good at video editing when I have the space and the CPU power to do so, and, and, and just the you know, the clarity and the lack of distraction. And that's next, the, um, hard drive. Where are you, hard drive? There you are. Is this you? Yes, this is you. I went with a Seagate hard drive. This is disastrously bad, this story. This is great. But I ordered a, um, a 5900 RPM, rotation per minute hard drive, and I had it in, in a small external case for a while, and I, was, and I was just waiting to get the rest of the parts so, so I'd use it before assembling it, and it fell off something, and I had to get a new hard drive, which was very tragic for me, because this stuff cost a large portion of my practically non-earning. Anyways, this is the hard drive, the pretty standard um, SATA hard drive, uh, Seagate. I guess I can show the specs of it. Let's see here. Uh, it's kind of difficult to see, but it says um, it's Barracuda 2000 uh, gigabytes, two terabytes, two terabyte drive. Got the serial number on there, which I will record. Uh, I will make a. Um, I, I'm a minimalist. I'm writing a book on minimalism. Honestly, um, I'm, we're going to call it pop minimalism. Don't quote because I'm already suffering from clutter. I'm a little bit thirsty. Um, or progress and organizational productivity principles minimalism. But I like that, because it's like, you know, it's an acronym, it's technical. But I'm not sure if other people will, so I might change the title to The Martial Arts of Minimalism, possibly, because I have a lot of Bruce Lee quotes, and it's kind of like strategies and tactics for fighting off clutter. Anyways, um, I mentioned that because I have a database of everything I own, and all of these parts will go in that database, which is awesome. This is for cleaning the internal parts of your computer. Obviously, it's not necessary now, because it's usually only necessary usually to clean the, the fans, when something gets, um, if there's dust, you know, but obviously it's just, everything's new, so that's quite unnecessary. Um, again, I got AMD. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. I feel, I feel this is a vid I actually want to do. I sometimes I've done vids where I end up just kind of blabbing, blah, just to kind of fill the vid time. And this is a vid I've really thought about for a while, and it's really meaningful to me. I don't, I don't feel bad that I'm not dressed up or anything, you know, styled tie or whatever. I'll probably do another vid showing the polished assembly computer with me more dressed up. Whatever. Who cares about that? Anyways, the most recent order was um, I got a DVD. Um, this was $20. I didn't plan to get this. But all of the um, driver um, DVDs, which are for most, part, most, most parts, definitely the motherboard and definitely the, um, the graphics card has a driver DVD. This is a CD. Or DVD. This is a CD. The driver, uh, the motherboard has a DVD. And now this is the most recent part that I got. The last part, and arguably the most essential part. Uh, yeah, just technically, it combines everything. You can have a computer without a case. Technically, it wouldn't be very safe at all. Um, no, a PSU is pretty important too, I guess. But this is the motherboard. I went with the. I like Asus. I love Asus. I like Asus. I got an Asus. Um, DVD, an ASUS um, um, motherboard, and a hmm. 
No, I guess I just have A's as Motherboard and DVD. I've been looking at all of the other A's books. So. Anyways, um, M5A97. Oh yes, the cost of these. I should. I think I might share those. Maybe I'll share those. Share that in the details um, of this of this uh, video. Um, anyway, I gotta get some water. I'll be right back. Whoa, this is awesome. Again, okay, back with water, this purified water, uh, reverse osmosis, another investment of mine. Not stock investment, it's, it costs me money. It's, it's save that I get this water, it's good. Ugh. Okay. I got a cup of tea around here somewhere, too. Right, this, this is like really, 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 really meaningful. My only cup. In addition to this blender ball cup, truck, Holmes mug, I, I just, I've researched these parts. And looked into getting these parts and saved up for them for o o over 11 months. So this thing that I'm doing right now, showing all these parts, and what I might do today, build this computer, is so momentous. But yes, the PSU, the power supply unit, is an Antec. Um, it was quite expensive. Um, I was encouraged to get a more high quality one. I think it was on, I think I got it for $70. But uh, 500 watts, and people, uh, when I was reading about rig building, forewarned that the PSU is typically something that people kind of skimp on with price, but doing so can be tragic because it can cause you know, short circuiting. And I read one horrible review of, is it recording? I hope so. Yes, it is, of course it is. Lights on. I read one horrible review. No, no, sound in the background. It's obnoxious. But I read one horrible review of somebody talking about the, the PSU leaking some kind of coolant on their motherboard. It sounded horrible. Ugh. So this is great. I got a power cord for it. Actually, I used the power cord I got. I don't know if this power cord is connected up with. That's kind of odd. Um, and excellent. So I just plan to, you know, I'm treating this like I'm, pret I'm pretend I'm going to Nikola Tesla mode. I'm pretending I'm. This is nowhere near what Nikola Tesla does. This is just uh, once you read about it and get the parts, it's it's very simple actually. It seems so complex, um, and you do have to know a couple of complex things. But once you get all the parts, then it's kind of like gigantic advanced adult Legos. But it could be at least I hope it would be that way. This is so meaningful. Oh, this is so awesome! Yes, victory, complete the victory. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Anyways, the motherboard. Right. This is um. The little, you know, the, I forget what it's called, the plates where all the cables connect. I was, I was reading about it, and I won't use this, it's very, I, it's very likely that I won't use this, but all the audio port, output ports, um, there's audio output ports for a subwoofer and like left audio and right audio for a huge sound system possibly. So I thought, you know, if I ever, you know, this computer is my home, it will be my home, it'll be where I edit all videos, edit all recordings store most of my life, communicate with people through Skype, through computer, uh, do all my writing, do all my blog posts. Actually, I'll probably do my writing blog posts on my laptop, but this is awesome. This is a very, very, um, it's an investment I put an enormous amount of time into, into deciding all the parts. It's like building my home. That's what it feels like. And I did, it, and this is like my home, and I built it from scratch, and I saved up for it. Anyways, this is the one part that over the past months that I haven't, I've gotten the opportunity to all the that. I've ogled at all of these parts, especially the graphics card. Uh, and the CPU, the CPU is amazing. This, this, this is so, it's amazing, it's amazing. Actually, I think I will, I have taken this out before, and of course I will wash, I wash my hands like 20 times a day anyways. Now this is the CPU. Um, actually, a little bit lighter light here. Well, this is fine. That's all of the. Uh, fix that. 
all those little um, prongs or whatever you plug directly into the motherboard. And this, if you ever do build your own rig, see that small little triangle right, right there? That is the indicator of, that tells you um, how you can, um, where, where to, how to orientate the CPU on the motherboard. So, this isn't the most organized bit of this, but I just at least wanted to show all the parts and the boxes and the components. Oh, this is awesome! This is so awesome. Oh, this is awesome! I want to show, I want to show you the frame. Uh, I think I am. hope I am. Uh, right. Okay. So, as for the motherboard, again, it's an M5 A97. It was $95, which may be very cheap to some people, but it was very expensive to me. And this is awesome. So, this is this motherboard, M5 A97 Asus. And it's got a lot of really, really, really cool features. I'm walking very, very slowly right now. Right. That is where the CPU will go. <clears throat> and I can tell exactly how it will fit in there based on the orientation of that triangle. See that upper, upper, the upper right corner of that slot has that low triangle in it, so that's exactly how I'll put the CPU in. These are the RAM slots right here. Now when you assemble RAM, it's, um, I mean when you assemble RAM, when you install RAM, it's best to install it in pairs. It's very rare when somebody will install uh, um, three or five or an uneven amount of RAM. And um, so therefore, uh, I have two slots of RAM, which I forgot to mention, which are Kingston RAM, eight gigabytes. Um, and I, I was reading about the motherboard. I read about, I read the manual, and I was ogling all, of, all of, over the manual before even getting the motherboard. But you're supposed to install them in, I think it's the B, the the, the same color slots. I'll read about that and verify it for sure, and then show that in the vid. This is just kind of like the woohoo vid. Um, and this this upper part, this is the the. PCI slots, I believe, and that's basically the whole motherboard. It's got this thing called um, a UEFI, which is a graphics uh, BIOS, um, which is pretty awesome. Again, I want to make sure that I'm in the frame and whatnot, and I want to be safe with this. Um, and the SAT, the SATA output ports. This is the first time I've looked at the motherboard um, in detail. Actually, it's pretty awesome. Oh, this is awesome! This is really awesome, actually. Um, this is splendidly awesome. So I think that's about it for showing the, the parts, the components before assembly, before the assembling of the computer. When I got that motherboard out, I. Uh, began to move very, very, very cautiously. Uh, excellent, that's, that's quite visible, marvelous. Okay, cool. Now, great. Um, I won't make this, I'll probably end this bit shortly, but... Oh, this is so awesome! Oh, this is awesome! But so much thought in all these parts. Now, this motherboard has... I, I, um, you know, I haven't assembled this yet, but these are all the output ports. And again, you know, you can see the stuff on, on other unboxings and more advanced stuff. But I don't know. I just love the stuff, so I just wanted to show it. Um, now that light, that LED green light there, I think that is, well, obviously some form of verification thing. Wow, this is so intricate. Oh, that is awesome. Um. to install this. Wow, this is awesome. Okay, um, right, RAM. The RAM that I got is um, a DDR3 Kingston RAM, uh, two four gigabyte um, DIMMs, yes, DIMMs. And it's a dual inline memory module, that's what that stands for. Um, 
I think that's about it. I guess maybe we could just start assembling it now. I don't know how much recording time we have left on that though. This is um, an empty case of all the manuals I've been reading and rereading. Um, but just because I didn't have all the parts and I wanted to build this, so I um, read the manuals. One, to kind of quench the interest in getting the parts, and two, to make sure I knew what I was doing. Just always a good thing to do. Anyways, this is um, all the cables are with the PSU, about the 500 watts. I got the Antec Earthwatt 500D PSU, which I quite like. Um, it's been installed in that case for since September, or since October, really. It's October, November, December, January, February, March. For six months, I've had that. Well, I've had that, P that case in the PSU, but I've, looking, I've been looking at these parts and researching them for over 11 months. Actually, probably over 10 months. Oh, so this is big. This is a big, exciting thing. This is a very momentous time in my life. This is really huge. I won't ramble too much. I'll probably just get onto the assembly of the computer. Uh, I think I'll put all the little component things. This was, this is the external part of the case. The other part, but obviously, this connects. I was, um, Oh, this is awesome. It's kind of nerve. It's not nerve wracking. It's exciting, actually. I was. Um, <clears throat> oh yes, finally a, um, a webcam, 720p webcam. It's awesome. Cool. <sighs> this is so awesome. Oh, this is awesome. I also another I, a realization I've had is I've had a lot of vids where I kind of talk about I don't know what I'm doing, I'm trying to be entertaining, and blah. And this is stuff that everybody, anybody will have a, will ridicule something you do at some point in life. If I do text and be like, oh, he doesn't do tech, or I do voice work, oh, he doesn't do voice work, or I do writing, he doesn't do that. No, no, no. People will always ridicule something you do, and I know this is building this computer or something that's so meaningful to me. I don't really care what other people think this is awesome. Okay, so, these, I probably should have laid out these components before the end it, actually, but whatever. You got to see my enthusiasm in, in the mount. I'm going to keep this on this case. I'm a little concerned about static free stuff. The empty boxes, I will um, put in here. All right. This is very, very, very awesome. I'm excited. This is really awesome. I, I, I really did think about doing like a huge kind of ceremony or, I don't know, blah, 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 what a ceremony with like silly lights or something. But um, this is just really momentous. Okay. useful standing desk. Alright, so I can put the PSU here. Alright. And I guess I can always um, unassemble and reassemble the computer, or if I just uh, motherboard settings for overclocking, I will be able to um, do that. I guess I'll show a close-up of the PSU. It's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. I know it's pretty cool. It's awesome. Okay. Oh, it's awesome. Okay. This is the, the case of the rig. These store three hard drives. I was considering get, these are big now. I don't know how much about them, but I would put the operating system on this, a um, solid state drive. It's not really that much of an interest. It's, a, it's not something I'm too interested in affording right now. It would be kind of an interesting idea, but we'll see. Anyways. Right now I have one hard drive in there. I do have an, an external, couple of external hard drives. Those can kind of go in there. The different slot bays at 2.5 to was 3.5. Um, this this awesome case came built in with two, one, two. I'm pretty certain there is a front fan. Um, front fan. I'm so excited about this. It's the power button. One thing I never stood, understood about these computers is that I guess the difference between power and the sleep buttons and something. Um, front side, US, it, has, it has USB 3 too, which is awesome. Oh, it's awesome. Anyways, here's the PSU. <clears throat> I've been studying these cables extensively, and this this is the main. Oh, I was kind of hot wiring it. That's that's how, normally it looks kind of sketch, but that's how that's how you're supposed to do this. 
Uh, it's not how you're supposed to do it, but if you need to start the PSU to make sure it works before having the motherboard, that's what you do. And otherwise it won't start without a motherboard. And I need to check to make sure it wasn't uh, DOA, dead on arrival, and it, which it wasn't, it worked marvelously. And this um, is the main ATX cable. Um, and these other cables respectively connect to um, SATA ports and other port, um, ones even for a floppy drive, I think, which is un unnecessary, and other parts. But this is, this is pretty awesome. Um, it's really awesome. I installed this. Uh, screws and whatnot. This is kind of cool. I, I wonder if I can keep this as the main power cable. I, I think I'd almost prefer that instead of like linking up with this button. Although, we'll see. This is kind of cool. This is electronics. And um, <clears throat> just a little si side note of something from my life. Upstairs, I was working on a blog. And in 2009, 06-11, June 11th, I try to have a detailed knowledge of when things happened because it helped with causality to having a clear life and good decisions and whatnot. I transferred my main blog, which I've been blogging in for, at that time, three and a half years, to WordPress. I'm checking the battery life on this. Hmm. 26 minutes recording. Okay. And I switched it um, to WordPress thinking that, uh, irrationally, erroneously, that people who, this is really meaningful to me, like these parts, this is really a big event in my life. I mean, I don't care if people ridicule or the Satan or whatever. This is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. Anyways, the blogger thing is I switched to WordPress, thinking that only successful blogs use WordPress. And a friend had a, a link to some NIMH, some nickel metal hydride uh, post on something, and it was a really successful blog on Blogger. And I've noticed there are a lot of successful blogs on Blogger. And the idea that there's only successful blogs on, on WordPress is silly. Um, and I like the blog, Blogger Blogspot um, backend uh, um, uh, interface for writing posts. And the front end, what users see, is... You know, it's, it's, it's cool, too. So I you was know, just dealing with the headache of possibly shifting back my all my 600-plus posts to Blogspot, which I might do. And I'm probably looking to, like, my name domain. Anyways, this is kind of refreshing um, shift to focus project because it is just focusing on uh, hardware, which is awesome, which is really cool. So, woohoo! It's awesome. Now, so that that's all the parts. Then GPU, CPU fan. Um, anyways, I'm I, I I'm not. My goal isn't to try to make this helpful. But well, yeah, a, a side goal is to try to make this helpful for anybody building a rig. Although it's just me kind of doing a kind of a, a blog journal of my love for computers too. But this could be helpful to you. There's much better vids out there uh, <laughs> about assembling a computer. But this is this should be helpful. That's a side goal for it to be helpful to somebody. And all these parts are pretty crucial. It is possible to build a rig without a DVD drive. Not without a motherboard, though. So that's that. Looks kind of quite simple now. And I like the idea of recording my assembly of the computer, assembling it. And I've only got about 30 minutes left of recording time on that. Um, recording space rather, probably less time battery, but and then speeding up that recording so I condense 30 minutes of recording the sending the computer into 20 minutes or into five minutes. Still, maybe I'll do that. Okay.
Marvelous. Well, I'm just undoing the twisty ties for the fan um, core connector cords. Or of the case. The case fan connector cords. This is a very kind of non technical procedure, um, but it's one that I'm doing all with care. One thing when building a computer, I'm, 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 I'm still recording this. This is helpful, people. This is how you build a computer. You know? there, there's much more better how to's, but you know, this is my version of it. Jolly good. I know one um, key consideration when building a computer is cord management. And proper cord management is basically when you ensure that there's proper, it will end proper airflow through the computer. Like it, it kind of, it should flow through a, a kind of a set column um, for effective, the effective, the most effective way to conduct heat uh, away from the components getting really hot. The CPU is, it when it's not overheating, a normally functioning CPU when the computer is on, which again goes right in that in that square right there. Um, is 40 to 55 degrees Celsius. That's, that's pretty hot, you know. Uh, it would be unhealthily hot with uh, proper um, um, thermal heat conduction and fans and whatnot. And actually, when you overclock uh, the front side bus or the CPU directly through by increasing the multiplier or the, this, the V core voltage, if you overclock the computer, in other words, if you overclock the CPU, using a variety of different ways, um, you have to worry about something called electromigration, which is when the, um, the CPU slightly gets a little bit overheated and it does weird stuff to the, um, the, the, the components. But electromigration sounds, I did a whole blog post on this on Linux Geekoid, you can check it out if you want in detail, which if you're interested in overclocking, you should, because it's a great post on overclocking. Anyways, um, Electromigration is basically like uh, not a problem. <laughs> it sounds terrible. Um, the components warp on the CPU, but it's not like melting the CPU. It maybe shortens the lifespan of it a couple of years. And that sounds bad, but it's not because a CPU's lifespan is almost always um, guaranteed to be 10 years. So you have a 10-year CPU, which nobody uses the full lifespan up. Most people use CPUs for like five years. So if it gets shortened it from 10 to 8 to 10 to 7 years through electromigration because overclocking, it's no problem at all. It means you had a hard drive, I mean, you had a, um, a CPU that functioned way faster and you used it for whatever, how many years you kept it for. I don't know. It was a really good one, a couple years, three years, four years, five years. Great. Cool. All right. So now installing this into the hard drive. There's these little things called um, 